Hello everyone, it's Judy and you welcome to Smartwatch Series. So guys, the arrival of the Fairness 8 in the summer of 2024 saw the relegation of the Epic Series and the emergence of two models in one brand, a Fairness 8 with AMOLED display and a Fairness 8 with MIP display and solar capability. The Fairness 8 which succeeds the Fairness 7 also welcomed new hardware additions like a speaker and microphone that lets you take calls directly from the watch. There is also a voice assistant including offline voice assistant support. Moreover, the Fenix 8 can now play music via the watch speaker. The Fenix 8 also lets you record your voice directly from the watch and there is a countdown timer that lets you count down to an event. Another big addition to the Fenix 8 is dive support. Joining the Apple Watch Ultra 2, the Fenix 8 supports diving up to 40 meters and it also has a long list of diving features that no doubt makes it a decent diving machine. Garmin also increased the display size a little and for the solar model, the solar panel is now restricted to the edges which results in a clearer display. So obviously the Fenix 8 is a significant leap forward from the Fenix 7. So guys, now that you know what is new in the Fenix 8, let's look at the differences between the Fenix 8 AMOLED versus the MIP solar model. One thing you should bear in mind is that the AMOLED and MIP models are two identical watches. These two have the same features. The only difference here is the display, battery life, available materials, sizes and prices. The main difference between the two models of the Fenix 8 is the display. One has a more colorful AMOLED display while the other has a less colorful transflective memory in pixel display. AMOLED display means graphics on the watch are more colorful and appealing to the eyes. It means the watch face looks richer and better. Maps also looks better though it takes a little longer to load. On the other hand, the MIP also has a decent display and is easy to read under direct sunlight. It is even clearer now that Garmin has redesigned the solar panel to the edges. So, as far as display is concerned, the AMOLED display is more colorful and offers a richer viewer experience than the MIP display. And talking about the design and available sizes, like its predecessor, the Fenix 8 is a rugged and durably built GPS watch. It is all shades of premium quality for the Fenix 8 and that is why it sits comfortably at the top on the list of Garmin watches. All the Fenix 8 models have a fiber reinforced polymer frame with metal rear back. But then you have titanium bezel with sapphire glass and stainless steel bezel with Corning Gorilla Glass DX. Both materials are very durable but titanium is more durable than stainless steel and sapphire glass is more scratch resistant than Corning Gorilla Glass. So one of the main differences between the AMOLED and solar model is that while the AMOLED model is available in stainless steel and titanium bezels, the MIP solar model is only available in titanium bezel. Moreover, in terms of available sizes, the AMOLED model is available in 43, 47 and 51 mm sizes, while the MIP solar model is only available in 47 and 51 mm sizes. There is also a lower end Fenix E, a new guy in the Fenix lineup that is only available in 47 mm size. You can click on the card that appears on the screen right now to learn the difference between the Fenix 8 and E. Now moving on to the battery life, the price to pay for the more colorful display of the AMOLED model is that it has a shorter battery life compared to the MIP model. Moreover, solar charging which is only available on the MIP display results in even longer battery life. AMOLED consumes way more battery than solar charging can sustain. So it is practically impossible to use solar charging on the AMOLED model. And that is why the AMOLED model does doesn't have solar charging. Nonetheless, the Fenix 8 AMOLED model still has a long battery life. In the smartwatch mode, you can get up to 16 days with the 47mm unit. That is far longer than the 3 days of the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Meanwhile, the 47 Fenix 8 MIP solar unit can go up to 21 days in smartwatch mode and up to 28 days with solar power. That is a heck of long battery life. No doubt, one of the best GPS watches with the longest battery life. Now, 
Talking about the price, the Fenix 8 AMOLED and MIP solar models have the same price tag. The difference in price is based on the build quality. If you choose the stainless steel bezel with Corning Gorilla Glass screen, which is only available in AMOLED display, you will have to part ways with $1,000 for the 43 and 47 mm sizes and $1,100 for the 51 mm size. On the other hand, it is additional $100 for the MIP solar and AMOLED models with titanium bezel and sapphire glass. So guys, in conclusion, the Fenix 8 AMOLED and the MIP Solar models are two identical watches with different displays. What Garmin aims for is to give you the option to choose your preferred display, a more colorful AMOLED or a less colorful transflective memory in pixel display. Old Garmin users will most likely want to stick with the MIP display. It is not as colorful as AMOLED, but it it is still easy to read and offers a longer battery life. So guys, it all boils down to individual preferences. Personally, I like a more colorful display. And considering the improvement in AMOLED technology, the AMOLED model is still very easy to read even under direct sunlight. And guys, that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye. Oh,